My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. I've told you this before. Right. you yeah. got to be careful not to get too much weight on your heels. Yeah. Because your brain will seek balance, and if you're too much on your heels, you're going to move forward during the swing. Right. And uh, so you know, a great drill is just take a plastic dowel rod, stand on it, and rock to your heel on your takeaway. I feel like your weight's getting into that right heel some. That's, that's important. Good. You didn't, your butt stayed back. Your head didn't go forward. That's a nice position at the top. Really good. Coming down a little steep, but not much. I mean, I mean, that looks good. I, that's all right. Still moving a little forward, and there's why that left leg is bent. Got to push that left leg into. Get a little deeper with that left hip, yep. Yeah. Not something I would think about on the course, something I'd right. practice. Working on getting deep, that butt board outside and hit some ball, pushing that left leg into lock position. Hands are a little high at impact because of that. There's a dress, impact. But that's an improvement from where you were. You were, you were farther away. Right. You were thrusting more than that before. Yeah, this lesson here back in March. Takeaway was messed up, right? Mm -hmm. Too much wrist. Now your takeaway is much better. It still gets a little inside. Right. I want the club head to stay outside the hands. I want you to keep the angle in the left wrist. Pretend like you got a cast on your left wrist and it doesn't move. It's literally dead. Your hands are dead. And you're feeling extension. You know, your arms are staying extended and your, your core is on is uh, activated here like you're doing a crunch. Mm -hmm. Pelvis is tucked a little bit and then no hand action. Yeah. That's something you gotta work on. Cause yeah, I mean that's that's been something I've always I've always had to tried to work on with you. So, yeah, you're moving forward partly because, again, I think you're not transferring from the 
Yeah. You got to start to move the weight more toward the heel on the initiation of the backswing, which is something you're not naturally doing. No. Because we got to keep that rear end back a little bit better. And I, I'll show you another picture here. She sits back. You see that? Mm -hmm. See how her butt goes behind that back wall? Doesn't come forward much, and her right heel is way up. Right. She's getting a lot of power. As I say, she crushed the ball? Crushes it. It looks like I mean, she's got she, the ability to the She muscle. carries it 260. She hits it as far as any man. Kills it. But notice the takeaway, too. She doesn't do anything with her hands here. No. The club head stays right on line here. See the core? See how the right arm still stays pretty long? Yeah. That keeps it it's that, wide. Yeah, keeping it wide. Power, yeah. 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 And it's just dead hands. There's no wrist, no nothing. I know I worked on that uh, probably last year, and I really able to seem like I was doing it pretty good. My distance had gotten pretty crazy, keeping that wide swing. I know, it does. It, I mean, it's, it feels awkward, but I know when I was hitting it, doing that, it was... Oh yeah, he, I think the video last time you showed was, was Ricky Fowler because he stayed ex he's very extended. Oh probably. yeah, I'm sure most of them are, but it's, it's some guys bend it earlier. But by and large, when the shaft's parallel to the ground, you can see there's not a whole lot going on with those arms. Right. Now he's going to fold up, but see the club bed still stays outside the hands on the takeaway. That's that's important. And look how deep his butt is. Now this guy, whoever took this video, I think, did not use a tripod. Yeah. It's, it's moving it's some. Moving right he rolls that ankle. And yeah, his left hip, his left leg is not perfectly straight. I like that footwork with the right foot, though. You see how she, he sort of rolls yeah. that ankle inward. That's hard to do for a lot of people, but... Yeah, so the push is primarily that, that, that deal right there. Right. I, uh, again, not everybody is built the same, but the, you can see there's no not much going on there either, right? Yep. So what I try to do is keep the hands quiet, maintain the width, hit the, keep that club in that position. Well, you know, the club head lines up with your hands. The rear end stays back, you know. You can see there, he's not yeah. moving forward. At all. So I think I would spend some time doing that. Now the footwork will help you. If you can roll the ankle and keep that knee, keep that hip back, push that left hip back, all of that stuff, you can work on that. But it starts with the initiation of the backswing, feeling like you're loading the right heels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think I think that's the big issue for you. I think you got too much weight on your on your heels. And then when you start to swing, you're actually moving toward the ball. I think you're loading your toes. You see those guys go back into that right heel. 
And I think Justin Rose has probably got the quietest head of anybody I've seen on tour. His head just does hardly even move at all. Goes back a little bit, but right. 